Hello, lovely people of YouTube. Um, this is a quick video just in response to a question I had from Ryan Mason. Hello, big shout out to Ryan for uh, watching my videos and uh, hopefully subscribed. If you haven't, Ryan, then make sure you have. Um, uh, anyway, yeah, his question was, he's been watching my Watch Me Make a Track video, um, about that video series on that. Uh, it's not directly related to that, but it's related to uh, automation. So his question was this, uh, is there any way to get automation to show up in track lanes for the TB03, such as cutoff, etc., so that you can draw automation in without having to do it in the clip envelope and he hasn't got Max for live? Um, so my, my general view with Ableton Live is if you can imagine it, you can usually do it. Uh, and yes, Ryan, you can do that. It took me a while just to work it out. Um, obviously, if we've got a MIDI clip, Let's just create one here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, obviously, you can do clip envelopes, which is obviously, I'm, I'm guessing, is what you've already been doing. Um, and, for example, you just choose the correct MIDI CC number. So if you get the MIDI impl implementation chart of the Roland website of the TBO3, I think I'm right in saying like something like 71 is the resonance and 74 is the cutoff or whatever. So you can draw all those in here, but obviously you've got to keep switching between them to see them. So what Ryan was asking is, can we have automation lanes for them? So there is a way to do that. First thing you've got to make sure is in your preferences, um, my TBO3 is going into my USB 3 connection on the MX1. Um, so wherever, wherever yours is going in, um, just uh, basically just turn all these on. <laughs> okay, because it works doing it that way. Because uh, you need to sync and remote. So both input and output for wherever your TBO3 is, just turn all them three on and it'll, it'll solve any problems, hopefully. Um, so, first thing we need to do is we're going to use an external instrument okay because we need to set this up kind of as actually no we don't first thing we're going to do is an instrument rack so we'll stick one of those on um get in there on a new track i'm doing this in live nine it works in live 10 as well but i'm assuming not many people have got live 10 yet because it ain't out yet um so when we've got our instrument rack we're going to use external instrument so we can use that to send midi to the tb03 so my tb03 uh i think I think that's the right way around. I think it's on channel three. Um, let me just see if that's working. Yeah, that's my TBO3. Cool. Right. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to map these macro knobs to the uh, the controllers on the TBO3. So this works both ways. It works if you've got a MIDI clip within live that is um, playing the TBO3 or also if you're using the internal sequencer. So I'll demonstrate both ways around of doing it. Um, so first thing we're going to do is go to MIDI mapping mode and macro one we're going to map to the cutoff which is CC number 74 but you don't need to worry about that because all you've got to do is just click on the one the, uh, the macro you want to map reach to my TBO3 and turn the dial. You can see it's now mapped the cutoff to macro one. I map the cutoff to, uh, sorry, the resonance on uh, three and then the envelope mod and the decay. Uh, I'll just do those four for now. You can map them all. Um, so the ones that receive MIDI control change messages are the envelope mod, accent level, overdrive, Delay time, uh, delay feedback, resonance, cutoff, decay, slide status, and tuning. So basically, most of your, your knobs on the top of the uh, the TBO3 will uh, will receive um, the MIDI CC messages. So I'm going to just create a very bad random baseline on here. So uh, let's do it down. Let's have a few longer notes. Let's have a slide. Also, all right. Well, this is going to sound terrible, but <laughs> damn, that's good. <laughs> right, it's going to speed it up a little bit. Oh man, yeah, shocking. But anyway. 
Right, okay, so we've got our amazing, awesome bass line in there now. So obviously we've got control over these. If you've got um, MIDI control, you could... So you can see there's the, the cutoff on Macro 1. So... And obviously you can rename these. So if we rename that as cutoff... Oh, shut up. God, that's, uh, that's bad. Right, sorry. Uh, I was going to rename the first two. I can't bother to do them all. Uh, I was going to call that rest just so we've got them in here. Um, shoe. <clears throat> Let's add another one. Okay, so all you got to do is right click on it, show in your automation lane, um, and so on. You Hopefully, you know how to do that anyway. Let's just get rid of that one. Um, so I've got two resonances for some reason. There we go. Okay, so if we just then bang in our automation. Okay, just at random. What's this one? This is resonance. Do, 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 do. And then when we play it. Okay, so you, you can kind of hear it doing its thing. Uh, let's do something a little bit more obvious on, let's do, um, where are we? So, let's currently open this one up. And what I'll probably do is... Okay, so you can hear the sound change a little bit. I think if I try and make it really obvious, um, I'm going to map the delay. That. that hold on, I think I knocked. There we go. Okay. So let's have that in a new lane. And that in a new lane. And where are these? So I'm just going to start these at nothing go right the way up to the top so it'll get a bit crazy but hopefully you can then see that it's doing what ryan wanted it to do okay so let's uh, tell you what the easiest thing is if we do the same thing with the resonance and just kind of whack that all the way to the top and we're going to do the same thing with the cut off in fact I'm going to do that the other way around let's start with that completely open and close it there we go okay so hopefully that that makes sense um and you can see how to do do the uh, the automation on there so uh i'm not I, i'm not sure what versions of ableton i think you get external instrument in all of them i'm not sure but certainly do with with an instrument rack um and obviously it works as well if you aren't um if you want to automate it um i'm just going to get rid of all these notes um if you're sequencing internally from the tbo3 all you got to do is basically have a, a blank midi clip and this is kind of your automation for um for the internal sequence so if i play now i've got it synchronized up so it will start playing uh, one of my internal sequences so just going to turn the tempo down a little bit because it's going to be a bit fast otherwise uh, and it should basically do the same thing okay so if you can hear that 
Okay, so that's now playing, because there's obviously there's no notes in here, that's now playing an internal sequence from the TBO3, but it's receiving all its automation information in all its separate automation lanes. So, once again, the genius that is Ableton Live, um, yeah, you can pretty much do anything you can imagine in there, and that's without Max for Live. I'd say all you need for this is the external instrument and an instrument rack. Um, and it works beautifully like that. So, Ryan, I hope that answers your question and we'll stop you because I know you were getting really frustrated with it in your second comment that you put it was driving you mad working it out to do it. Uh, so hopefully you will have a nice, quiet, relaxed week now for this week playing with your automation on your TBO3. Um, okay, thanks for watching. Hopefully that was of use to specifically to Ryan but to uh, other people as well. Thanks a lot and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Okay, I'm back. Just a quick additional bit um, to this just to make life actually even easier. Um, cause I just played about with this once uh, after we'd, uh, after I'd finished the last recording. Um, you don't actually need a MIDI clip to do this or an external instrument. If you're going to see, you're obviously going to need a MIDI clip, uh, an external instrument, if you're going to sequence the notes from within live, but if you are going to sequence, use an internal sequence from, um, from the TBO3, you don't need the external instrument. You just need your instrument rack basically. Um, like this so i've left the automation in there as it was before so whenever we play that now okay that's playing an internal sequence from the tbo3 and it's still sending out all the midi information which is quite clever <laughs> um but that's basically just down to the midi mapping okay obviously the way we've, we've mapped that in here i should have done that because it might change it um but obviously these you know are sending it out specifically to um those uh channels etc um and i've just noticed actually some of these hang on i've messed it up now um yeah i'd need to rechange some of these because these are, for some reason i've changed let me just remap these because they're going to um channel one for some reason so you can see here that this tells you the midi channel okay my tbo3 is on uh midi channel three for some reason it's sending it change it to one um so let me remap these there we go I don't like that for some reason. Okay, right. Let me just work out what the problem with that is. Okay, I think the problem was if for some reason it would randomly, um, whenever it played a certain note, uh, would stop the transport. For some reason that um, had appeared. So he's gone. Let's get rid of that. So it should now work. Let's try again. Okay, so you can see no external instrument. Obviously, the MIDI mapping is doing all the work for us because it knows which uh, MIDI channel it's being sent out to. Um, so you don't need basically anything else, just put a dummy MIDI track in there and you're good to go. So uh, hopefully that extra little bit at the end will make life even easier because you don't have to faff about with uh, dummy MIDI clips, which I thought you had to do originally. Um, if I find out any other ways to improve this, I'll tag it on the end of this video. But if this video ends, then that means I've given up and I uh, just deal with it how it is. <laughs> okay. All right, guys, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.